You are a fantastic actor, but you don't know it. And you are a fantastic actor, but you know it. <laughs> now, can you decipher this for me? What did he mean? I think he knows us better than yeah. ourselves. Really? So I leave it to him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the first time I got to know about myself in a complete different perspective. And uh, Because you're working with him? No, like what he had, his perspective was completely uh, new to me. It was... Uh, a good one, I think, only end of it. <laughs> the statement was nice, but it just came in a different way. But is that true? Do you feel that you're still unsure as an actor and are you very confident? Well, for me as... For me, see, I, I, I wouldn't relate Triple R for now. But in general, you know, you know, we've been friends. I wouldn't say friends, but he's he's been a lot of things to me, yeah. including being a friend as well. Well, there was there was this time in my in my career where where I just didn't know what was happening. I was everything became so normal. You know, there was no excitement. Yeah. It's about waking up in the morning. You know, I'm 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 somebody who is individually very hyper, and I and I look for a little more uh, excitement and hyperness for me to like literally pounce up and leave from home. So there was this time where I was discussing, I was talking to him. I was like, I don't know, you know. My you know, my likes as an actor, what I want to do is completely different from what I'm doing now. Is it is it because of that that my films aren't working? And you know, very sweetly, he just he just pushed that idea of mine. And today, I really you know like, I'm sure he accepts it as well. I've turned out to be a better actor because of that. So he's just he's this person who makes your makes you realize what your potential is and now to triple r now probably i was prepped all these years to be beam in triple r tell me you know uh, again something your father said was that this idea came because you went to him and said that let's make a film with two big stars and then again it was your idea to say let's create a fictional story around two real life Freedom fighters. Uh, you know, the truth is, uh, in in the Hindi film industry, uh, Rohit Shetty said that he could not make Ram Lakhan because no two male stars are willing to work together anymore. Ooh. So you have managed something quite exceptional here. Uh, how tough was this? Or or are you now at this sort of godlike stage where you say, come and <laughs> everybody arrives? No, I, again, I'm, the moment I think that okay, I am in a godlike state and anyone and everyone will do whatever I want. Uh, that is my uh, first step to, to downfall. <laughs> I never, I am not brought up like that. Yeah. I can't think like that. From the uh, very beginning, I have this long-standing desire of combining two powerhouses. No, I'm not just talking about their stardom. In the story, in yeah. the story like... We know there is a friendship between Duryodhana and Karna. We know there is a friendship between Krishna and Arjuna. But my mind works like, what if there is a friendship between Krishna and Karna? <laughs> no, that is how I think. That yeah. is that. That would be so fascinating. Me. Yeah, that. Yeah. That uh, no, just the thought of it. I yeah. told you now, and it fires my it's mind. Exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. I want to see that. Film. <laughs> yeah. You know, so th that kind of thing always uh, uh, excites me. Yeah. Bringing two powerhouses. So, and obviously the natural progression is if you're, uh, you need an actor and a, and a star, who can be that powerhouse, right? So when I had this thought of combining the, uh, the lives of Alluri and uh, Kumram, it was super exciting, but also I needed fine actors and superstars, both combined to, to play those uh, characters. See, by, by our long association, I know they would do whatever I want to do. Okay. They've both done their second films with you. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're done their second films yeah. uh, with me, and uh, I know they will they, because we have a long-standing friendship. Yeah. But the idea, see, the, uh, the moment I I think of this idea, I know it is going to be two two and a half years. But that excitement has to be there throughout the film, not just at the onset of the film. Yeah. So for that, I have to keep them excited. So I have to write characters that that will hook them. No. That will make them, uh, uh, their journey exciting all through these two, two and a half years. Uh, so I never take anything for granted. I, I, we write the characters uh, uh, so perfectly, so exciting, not just for me, even for them. Yeah. 
when all three of us are on the same page, the journey becomes easier. Patriotism is, of course, baked into this narrative. Mm -hmm. They are two freedom fighters. Uh, but there's such a thin line now between patriotism and jingoism. So how have you ensured that this film doesn't cross it? Uh, the first thing is, um, even though it is set in pre-independent era, it is about uh, uh, the fictional tale of two real, uh, real life freedom fighters. The film itself is not about patriotism. Mm -hmm. It's not about nationality. It, uh, it is about friendship. The whole theme is about uh, uh, friendship. How patriotic I am, uh, I don't know how you can put a meter to it, yeah. but even today, if you just play Janaganamana, I'll have tears in my eyes and my, my hairs will stand on my, uh, my arm and I just cry. I'm, I, I love my country, I love, I love my culture, I love my nationality, uh, but that doesn't mean I hate others. Right. No, I respect other countries, I respect their, uh, their culture, everything, but for me, my country is great. Respecting my country doesn't mean demeaning others. Absolutely. That, that's, yeah. that's what I truly believe in. That is a personal perception, but the film is not about patriotism, it is about friendship.